and the impact of code red itself because you know at the time it was it was huge right i think i read it was peaked about 359,000 infected systems which you know in what was that 2001 around that time i'm um, terrible of timelines but I, yes <laughs> somewhere somewhere around that timeline there wasn't it yeah. so you know at, at that time that many systems being infected and Presumably, it wasn't as, like you say, as devastating as a, a modern ransomware attack or some of the tactics we see right. being deployed today. But, you know, if, if you saw an attack of that scale happen today, that would just, I mean, that would be on every news broadcast everywhere, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think to, to really put it, put it into context is like um, these days, something like that, you know, we kind of kind of understand what it means, right? But like, you know, quite, quite literally, me and Ryan... Um, you know that that Friday night, um, uh, I mean, we, we were we were literally hanging out in his apartment. I think we were playing like Tony Hawk Pro Skater on you know Xbox or whatever it would have been, I mean, PlayStation or whatever at the time. Um, when we got the email, we were like, ah, maybe maybe we should take a break from video games and go check this check this thing out. And so, just out of pure passion, it wasn't like a oh, we got to go find the next APT or the next worm. That just wasn't even a thought back then. We were just like, oh, weird thing happening? That sounds nerdy and interesting. Let's, let's go dive into that and figure it out. 